Hi, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and today I'm going to show you how you can take your regular air compressor and hook it up to your laser cutter for air assist. It's super easy, only costs about $30, so let's get started. All right, let's go over the parts that we're going to use for this project. Uh, th this is two separate kits I got from Amazon. Uh, together, they're around $30 for um, combined for the kit, so very reasonably priced. I'll provide the links to both of these in the description down below. The first kit we have uh, is going to be your tubing. Uh, they have a ton of it, way more than probably you're going to need, uh, depending on where your air compressor is compared to where your laser cutter is going to be. It comes uh, with the tubing, it actually comes with a tubing cutter, which is really nice. And then it comes with all these little uh, quick connects type, type uh, you got T's, you got a, a bunch of extra stuff, you're not going to need basically any of it. You are going to need uh, at least one, one of the little quick connect type things though. So that's kit number one basically your tubing. Next kit is going to be your regulator and this is has a filter I think oil and water probably filters out. Now these are kind of inexpensive I mean this, these are kind of inexpensive obviously it's thirty dollars so you kind of get what you pay for a lot but for a project like this I don't know I don't think it's necessary to go crazy on a different regular. But what it comes with is a regulator it comes with a pressure gauge that goes into the regulator here it comes with a shutoff valve, which is, you know, I kind of going to want that. Teflon tape, use Teflon tape. And it also comes with a uh, quick connect for uh, air compressor quick connects. And these are plastic. So I have a bunch of metal uh, air compressor connectors. Uh, I'm probably going to use that. So in full disclosure for my own setup, I'm going to probably use the metal ones. But Hey, you don't have to. If you don't have them laying around, uh, it comes with these plastic ones that will probably work fine, I'm guessing. So that's the uh, uh, equipment that we're going to use for the project. Also including, of course, your air compressor. This is assuming you have your own air compressor. I'm guessing most people that have a laser cutter probably have an air compressor as well. So uh, that's assuming we're going off your already air compressor that you have. All right, I guess you can watch my hands work for a little bit here, but uh, I got everything, I uh, got the Teflon tape on there, which the Teflon tape that I came with seemed uh, pretty terrible, actually. It's just thinner than I've ever seen Teflon tape, so hopefully it works fine. Uh, so I got it all ready to go. I removed these little uh, rubber, rubber protective things that came for the threads. So we're just going to start, uh, start assembling this. All right, and that is the, the metal piece I already had as opposed to, you know, the plastic piece. So if you don't have that, just go with that. Uh, this, is, this plastic piece is actually a different size than a standard metal one, so you're going to have to use the plastic coupler that it comes with if you do go the plastic route. So just a FYI on that. All right, I'm just going to mount this regular to the wall now. I'm just using a couple of self-tapping uh, Craig screws, actually, that will go right into the studs here. All right, here's my X tool uh, that I have the enclosure. If you're interested in how to build this enclosure, I'll link that video as well. I actually made this enclosure for a 3D printer, which is going right now, hopefully, the sound of the 3D printers aren't, aren't too annoying on this uh, video. But so yeah, if you're interested, it's a fireproof proof enclosure, which is great for 3D printers or uh, for laser cutters, just in case there's ever fire, which hopefully there won't be, but it's kind of a good backup. Um, so I'm gonna drill a hole in the top of this enclosure. So, and just kind of have the air hose hang down. And now I have an X-Tool, uh, Pro, D1 Pro, I think, a 10 watt. And so it comes with the attached air assist already. I think some lasers that might be an add-on, I'm not sure, but mine already comes with a um, little connector that you need. So, all right, let's go into that process.
And today's video is sponsored by me and my glue holder and all my other 3D printed stuff that I sell on my Etsy shop. I have stuff in the background printing right now. So one of my favorites is my glue holder. Uh, you can store your wood glue upright, but the best part is you can store it upside down so it's always ready to flow. So check out the store, I really appreciate it. Thanks. All right, now I'm just gonna push this tube into this uh, quick connect thing and we'll see if it latches. Yeah, just like that. And now I want to make sure there's plenty of play so it can travel all the way around. And I'll do the exact same thing with the regulator here. All right, I got everything finally hooked up. Uh, I always remember to read instructions and I did not do that. And when I hooked up this regulator, I had these two hoses switched around. And then there was air going everywhere and I thought it just had some leaks, but there's definitely an inside and an outside and it's labeled and you can't switch them. Uh, so I got that all figured out. Everything's holding nicely and working great. So we'll do a, a test cut here. We'll do a few test cuts and then we'll see the comparison between uh, air assist and no air assist. All right, here you got a comparison of uh, non-air assist and then air assist. And uh, man, what a difference it makes. Uh, the, it might be hard to kind of see on camera, but the, without air assist, you have all this char and you could just see, uh, I don't know, you, you can see it all wrapped around there. And then with the air assist, and I got to play around with the, um, the PSI settings. This one got a little charred there as I was going up and down with it. But this one, uh, this last one I did was just just about perfect. Um, there's like no charring whatsoever. So hopefully that comes up on, on camera, the difference between all the charring around and what a clean cut that air gives you now. All right, so I'm really happy with how everything turned out. Those cuts are looking great, so much better than before uh, the air assist. If you have any questions about this project, you can leave them in the comment section below. I'll provide all the links to uh, where you can get the the stuff on Amazon to do this yourself, uh, my Etsy shop, if you wanna buy a glue holder, always plug in that glue holder, that's important. So yeah, uh, and we'll see you on the next one.